uh, where, where all the artifacts are and archives are hidden, but we're going to uh, place them uh, throughout the ballpark so that when you come to Fenway Park, beginning in, in uh, 2012, you will be able to share this museum-like experience and uh, educate yourself and, uh, I think, uh, and, and, and enlighten yourself on the uh, important history that Fenway Park represents. In order to uh, make this uh, living museum as, uh, as grand as it can be, we've also established a, uh, a new foundation that I'd like to announce today, and that's called the Preserve Fenway Park Fund. Uh, PFPF for short, uh, shorthand internally. And this is a not-for-profit fund that will serve as a vehicle to preserve the ballpark going forward. Donations, both financial and historic, will be will, will help make uh, Fenway this true living museum. So as you hear us uh, talk about the Preserve Fenway Park Fund, PFPF, it's designed to give life and meaning and, and content to this uh, idea of Fenway as a, as a living museum. Uh, the, uh, there are also a bunch of smaller initiatives taking place that are, are equally important to us. The mayor mentioned an essay contest uh, that he is uh, orchestrating for us. Uh, we're also going to have an art contest. We'd like uh, the children in the area to get involved and, and do uh, birthday cards or anniversary cards for Fenway Park and, uh, uh, or do uh, renderings of what they, they like and, th and see in Fenway Park uh, as they think about what Fenway Park means to them. So, uh, side by side with the mayor's uh, 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 essay contest, there will be an art contest, and there will be lots of other ways for the fans to be directly involved. And you go to our way, if you go to the Fenway100.com uh, website, you will see uh, other ways that you can send stories, you can send in photographs, you can do other things. We want to collect uh, a lot of the history of Fenway Park going forward in, the, in this year. Now, the mayor mentioned that April 13th is opening day. Uh, that's going to be a, a big day for us, uh, to be sure. It will be followed thereafter by a couple of other big days. On the 19th of February, we'll be having an open house for all of our fans. It's an off day in the baseball schedule. We intend to open Fenway Park and invite the public to come in and, and wander around, mill around, take a glimpse of the living museum elements that will be in place by then, uh, take a look at the uh, walk around the, the track, walk around the ballpark, and just sort of uh, sense and feel uh, what Fenway Park is, is is all about. There'll be lots of exhibits and activities, but it will be an open house because this is, after all, the, a ballpark uh, of and for our fans. So we'd like to welcome them to come in free of charge and to uh, and to uh, uh, take take part in this important celebration. April 20th is the uh, actual 100th anniversary birthday, 100th birthday of Fenway Park. April 20th, we're playing the same team, the uh, New York. Uh, Yankees, then known as the Highlanders, were playing a 305 as we did on April 20th, 1912. So that will be a major event. There are many other sort of special pregame activities, ceremonies, um, special events during the season. Our chief operating officer, Sam Kennedy, is going to come up here in a minute or, or so and, and go through uh, many of the ones that I've, uh, I've omitted here. But uh, this is an important year for us, and uh, and, and to. Uh, really started off right, we are using today as the launch date for a new commemorative uh, coffee table book. Let me see if I have a copy of this baby. Here it is. <laughs> and this is a, uh, a, 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 a substantial piece of work done by Major League Baseball with the, uh, in collaboration with the Red Sox. We consider Fenway 100, the Fenway Park 100 years, the, as we say, the official definitive history of America's most beloved ballpark. It is uh, 264 pages. It is uh, uh, over, there are over 300 photographs in it. Many of them have never been seen before, and it has a detailed uh, textual analysis of the of each decade in uh, Red Sox history. It makes a great uh, it sounding like a huckster. It makes a great Christmas present. I've already got several uh, set aside uh, for my Christmas list. But I urge you to uh, take a look at it. You will see uh, tributes and, uh, and uh, personal t uh, statements from people like Conan O'Brien, Mayor Tom Menino, Carl Yastrzemski, Ben Affleck, uh, Paul McCartney, Alan Dershowitz, Tom Werner, uh, George Will, Jerry Remy, uh, Commissioner Bud Selig, Joe Torrey. Lots of people have made contributions to this. I think it's the, it will be the photographs 
uh, by and large, that remind you of what uh, what Fenway Park has meant over the years to the to the people of uh, of Red Sox Nation. Let's see. Uh, did I say the book is available online? <laughs> at the RedSox.com slash Fenway Book. And it's also available at the twin stores across the street beginning today and at the Barnes & Noble in Kenmore Square. So, uh, as, uh, as part of our um, opening event, we are presenting, uh, as the mayor indicated, we are presenting uh, 18 copies of this book to uh, to the Boston Public Library, so that there'll be one in every branch of the city, and we will be presenting, uh, I think, 122. Carol, uh, do I have the number right? The number five. 125. 125 uh, public schools in uh, in Boston. We're presenting to Superintendent Carol Johnson agenda today for uh, one that will reside in every school, uh, in the public school in the city as well. So that's uh, there's a, that's just a taste of what we hope to be doing. There'll be other events, other activities. Uh, at the risk of going on too long already, I'm going to stop here and uh, and turn this uh, program back to uh, to uh, over to Sam Kennedy, who will mention uh, a few of the other activities. But I do want to uh, uh, close this section segment by saying there is an enormous sense of pride that I uh, would like to express so on behalf of uh, John Henry, Tom Werner, our entire ownership, and our entire organization. We are awfully proud of the last 10 years. There's nothing that we are more proud of than honoring the commitment we made on December uh, 21st, 2001, that we would preserve, protect, enhance, improve uh, Fenway Park. And, uh, and this 100th anniversary celebration is an appropriate uh, uh, culmination uh, to, the, to that pledge. So, um, Sam, let me ask our Chief Operating Officer to come up here and carry on. <laughs> 